Say I'm the only secret you keep. Get your life. Where's a mirror? Get a mirror. Get a life, girl. Nothing to Papa Nana today, yes? <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, it is a new video. I want to make a disclaimer. The sun is coming in and out of the clouds, so if it gets too dark, I might stop and then wait it out and whatever, but sit up, sit up. So, welcome back. Uh, finally sitting in this room in a very, very long time because I've been vlogging and away and all that jazz but we're gonna catch up on all of that um uh, while we do i'm gonna be testing out i can't decide between these two i'm always very very late to the party and i'm okay with being very very late to the party so the two that i've got in my hands now i bought four foundations in the last i don't know how long and two of them are high-end foundations one's a naked one tell me if you want to see that one video wise and there's another deal one but it's a collab -o. um but today i want to try out one of these and i'm really leaning towards candid the reason why is because i just like the packaging and i feel like if i like the packaging i might be more excited to play around with it you know so if you want to see this video you know what to do okay okay so I'm going to start off with the Superstay uh, Full Coverage Concealer. I'm just going to put some of it on my hand because we're going to use this concealer for our eyes. And if I'm looking down, you know what it is. And yes, I'm wearing a wig because... Why not? <laughs> okay, this concealer is a tad light for where I'm applying it. I just feel like it's a tad light, but... If you have been following me on social media, then you will know that uh, I've been away. I went to Japan for a little bit and we went to go watch the Rugby World Cup, which was insane. Uh, Japan was great. We had such a good time. Um, <laughs> we were lady on most of the days because why not? I mean, you're away, you're on holiday and you know, you're going to watch your team win, which we did. And we got into a little bit of a brawl at the stadium um, because we are not used to, in this country, we're not used to booing. Someone tell me if I'm, I'm wrong here and it's now something that's happening at the stadiums. But we're not used to boo, you know, when people are booing and whatever, like, that's just nasty, man. I, I feel like it's just foul sportsmanship. It's, it's just not nice to see something like that at a stadium, you know, where both countries played or teams or clubs whatever played really really to the best of their ability and then you're gonna have people in the crowd going boo 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 like it's not nice man it sucks it sucks so anyway that's so me and my sister got into a little bit of a brawl with some british lady who was sitting behind us who was booing and my sister just could not take it anymore and she went off at her she, aside from it being really really hectic it was also one of the best experiences of my life when we're in Japan. I think currently right now I'm busy uploading the Japan videos slowly, little by little. This is the Nubian, oof, oof, the Nubian 2 palette, just in case anyone wanted to know. I feel like it's the one with the most, like, uh, colors that somebody who loves neutral colors can sort of dip into and start playing around with color. I feel like they're not too crazy, they're not too eccentric. Uh, but anyway, when we were in Japan, we on the first day that we were there, my sister and I decided to do a little excursion by ourselves. And we went to... I need to line my eyes, so I'm going to use this concealer. We went to the Sonsoji Temple, which is in a, um, a town in Tokyo called Akasua, if I'm not mistaken. I'm always mistaken about these kinds of things, but it's in a town called Akasua and we had such a good time at the temple. And then my sister got bad fortune. If you watch her video, she's Naledi Malela, in case you don't know who my sister is on YouTube. She's also on YouTube. We started out YouTube together with Beauty Corner SA. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. If you are, you're a ride or die. And because we just wanted different things for the channel, we kind of thought it's best to just uh, do our own thing. And I, I feel like, that was the best thing we could have done for one another. Um, it is so hot in here, hence why Nila. 
I'm applying Don't yellow. Me. This yellow here. It's called Nairobi. Actually, one of the places that I really want to go and visit in Kenya. And I'm hoping that someone who's in Kenya can tell me that, girl, come and visit. We're ready for you. I'd love that. Um, so we went to one of the highest towers in uh, Tokyo. Or it, it probably is the highest tower in Tokyo, but I don't know. But we went there and it was so beautiful. The view was absolutely insane. We had such a good time at that, at that tower. We had a really, really good time. So I'm applying green. Um, geez, these are such Brazil colors. It's not even funny. Mm, it's really pretty. Okay, so the following day, um, what did we do the following day? The following day, I think, was match day, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I am gonna need something for all the sweat. So anyway, the reason why I'm filming this is not just for the foundation. One of the reasons why I'm filming this is because a friend of mine wanted me to mention her situation on you know on YouTube so that you guys could give her a little bit of advice um, uh, <laughs> This situation is not a normal one kids. Okay, this is not a normal situation um, Okay, I'm gonna use this now This is not a normal situation. I got the shade caramel because I am normally caramel with Revlon and this is the one uh, You know, don't you just hate it when you're always having to there we go, it's coming. It's coming and it's out. Ah! I feel like this is gonna be too light. This is looking all sorts of kind of scary right now. So my friend is kind of going through the most, okay? So she was in a relationship for, let's call her Debo, okay? Let's call her Debo because they are wow. Okay, so on there it looks a lot lighter, but on here it actually looks fine, so. Let's see. Okay, so we, we, we're checking out this foundation, right? First impressions. So let me stop talking for a little bit and see how this one... Hmm. How this one sits on the face. Um, doesn't smell too bad. It doesn't smell like cement. I feel like with this one... Yeah, you, it's a... Um, it's a very like, whoo, <laughs> look. Um, I feel like with this one, it's a very light, let me see, not completely matte, but it's not, it doesn't seem, mm. I feel like it's okay. Like for me, I don't know, I, I really, really love um, full coverage foundations. So mm, this one is okay. But I feel like for, if you don't have any skin problems, acne problems, whatever, if you've got like skin like mine, I think you would really enjoy this foundation because it really does have that skin like finish, which I really like. I like that. That one I can definitely say I like. So for me, it seems like it sits like a very um, light to medium finish. It's not matte, definitely isn't matte. Um, if you need more coverage, which for me, I would need more coverage. Um, okay. All right, so, so far so good. I'll have to give a, a review somewhere. Um, now I'm gonna conceal under my eyes with the Superstay uh, concealer. Number 40 I've got is Caramel, which I feel like is close to my foundation shade, so I need something lighter. And with the light one, I got 30, which is Honey. I'm gonna apply that. On here, yeah, much lighter. And as Guti, which Mardi Gras or festival am I going to? Nizenza colorful, the wing is a colorful and con. Um, so I've got a friend who's kind of going through the most. She's in a situation, let's call her Tebuo. So my friend is kind of going through the most. Um She's in a situation where she dated this guy. So she dated this guy. She wants me to talk about this so that she can read the comments and you could advise her. So she dated this guy and this chap, <laughs> their relationship didn't last. But before she dated this guy, there's another chap that she was talking to. Little did she know that this chap, chap A, that she was talking to before she dated this guy, chap B, um, uh, 
Little did she know that Chap A and Chap B know each other. They actually like in the same group of friends. They have the same group of mutual friends. They're not close friends. They're not dudes who will just, you know, call each other up. Sorry, I'm baking. They're not dudes who will just call each other up and be like, yo, you want to hang or whatever. No, they're not. It's not that kind of close relationship. However, they do know each other. So now, <laughs> it didn't quite work out with Chap B, right? Uh, they were together for a couple of months and of course, you know, as with any relationship, they had their problems and they couldn't quite solve the problems that they had. So, because they couldn't, they kind of split it off and whatever. But now the problem is, the catch is, since Chap B and her broke up, <laughs> since Chap B and her broke up, um, she's kind of been chatting up with Chap A. And it seems like they are really hitting it off, like more than she ever did with Chap B. Basically, that's what the situation is. But now she is very, very conflicted because society dictates that, you know, there's, there's always a rule, you know, even as a girl, you just don't date guys from the same squad or guys who know each other, have a mutual knowledge of one another or whatever, or hang out together, right? You just don't do that. But she kind of did. <laughs> and she's not dating Chap uh, A yet. She's not dating him, but she is hanging out with him and they are kind of, you know, vibing and having a good time. So she really wants to know, like, should she you know continue should she not she feels like this guy could be a guy like that she could really have something serious with you know they've got deep conversations they've got deep chats there you know and they they're really having a good time and she feels like she doesn't wanna let this one go without giving it a real shot and she wants me to ask you guys if you were her, what would you do? Personally, I said to her that um, they're not friends. If they're not good, good, good friends, honestly, this is what I said to her. I said to her, if they're not really like tight, tight, best buddies, call each other all the time, I'm doing a very sharp contour today because, because you feel like extra today. Um, if they're not really tight, 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 then ah, come on, like really. We're grown, man. We're not in high school where, yo, ah, you can't, you're with my friend, blah, blah. Ah. Who's got time for that? And I said to her, girl, girl, honestly, I feel like do the absolute most. Yeah. Do the absolute most and push it with this guy because I certainly would. I'm not even lying to you guys. I, I, I would follow my heart. If my heart is telling me that girl do the absolute most, yeah, I'm gonna follow my heart. I'm not even lying to you guys right now. I mean, I really, really, really would love to know. What would you do? Anyway, um, aside from that, there was, so Japan happened. We came back from Japan, uh, got some very, very contour. Kore, the way killing busy got thing, eh? Today, contouring my nose even. <laughs> Making very sharp. It's a very, very light to medium coverage foundation. You can't go heavy with this one. Um, but I feel like I kind of caked it up because with powder and stuff. Uh, but I'm starting to see the lines form. So I don't know how I feel about that. Don't like that. I don't like lines. Okay. So we're going to put on a little bit of uh, highlight and I'm still here on this uh, Bobbi Brown highlight because I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. So I went away to put my lashes on. I went away to put my lashes on. It's a new different type of lash. It's an eyeliner one. It's called Exaggerate. I don't quite like it. I feel like I can barely see it. But it's very flirty. It's very long. It's very eccentric. <laughs> well. Okay. So last, but definitely not least, is a combination that I've really, really been liking. This is a Revlon product as well. This is a combination that I've really, really been liking, especially when I go to work. Hmm. 
I just blend that into my lips a little bit more. I can already start to see lines forming around my smile lines, which is not a good sign in my language. It's not a good sign. That's why I really prefer full coverage foundations because they full coverage matte foundations are a favorite. I am going to use this, which is what I've been using for the past week. And I really, really like it. This is the Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream. I'm really, really impressed with this one. It's nude. Hello. Hello. Can you see that? Yeah. I just sort of rub it in, spread it out. Lips still look brown, but that's fine. Gonna rub it in nicely. So we're done. That's the look. I really, really like it. I really, really I love the eyes. It's not a perfect look because I really, really went in quick with the eyes, but it's fine. That's not the point of today. The point of today is this. Um, I, I am enjoying it. I'm not sure. Um, um, I feel like if you're somebody with a very light, um, if, if you don't have skin problems where you're trying to cover things up, like hyperpigmentation or you're trying to cover up acne or whatever, if you have very, very soft, supple, if you've got unproblematic skin, smooth skin, I feel like you'll enjoy this as an everyday foundation. Definitely worth a try. It is a light to medium foundation. It's definitely not full coverage, which is fine. I really don't mind light to medium foundations for an everyday foundation. Um, I do prefer full coverage foundations are my most preferred type of foundation, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, I'm still going to wear it for the rest of the day, potentially the evening. Should somebody want to take me out with this really, really dramatic look? <sighs> um, but I really, really, I'm okay with it. I'm a little bit worried because I'm starting to see um, smile lines form, which is a little bit of a problem for me because I like... I wear foundation to go to work and this is something typically that I would love to use on an everyday basis but if smile lines are already starting to form within like 20 minutes or 30 minutes of the foundation application process then that is a little bit of a worrisome thing for me so that's something worth noting it's great on the packaging great for a traveling kind of foundation if you're going away and you want um, if you're going away and you want a foundation that you can easily slot into your bag, the pump is a fantastic idea. I love pumps on foundations, so I'm basically very happy with that. The packaging does the most for me. It sold me. The packaging sold me onto this foundation. So for the most part, I feel like it's something that is worth a try if you don't have problematic skin. If you're somebody who's very big on covering up hyperpigmentation, acne, and you need something full coverage, I don't know if this one would work for you. But... I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to see. We'll just have to see how it goes um, for now. But that's my first impression on this foundation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video was helpful in any way. Um, the story that I told you about my friend, I would love for us to chat about that down below. And uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it from me. I'm feeling kind of sassy with this green eye though. Sassy. Um, but for the most part, that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm going to film another one now so if this look is there don't be surprised but I'll see you in the next one okay